Hello guys, I hope you're all doing well. I'm literally just sat on my floor in my filming room right now. I have decided today to venture out to B&M. We've got a few B&Ms close to us, but the one that's particularly good is near Didsbury, if you're local to South Manchester. So I'm gonna head over. I've got a couple of hours spare this morning, so I thought I'd just bring the camera. There's been some amazing new releases that I've seen on their Instagram, some vases, obviously the jar and labels as well, which I have shown like on TikTok and stuff, but I'll, I'll share with you those as well later on and hopefully I can find some more and maybe do a giveaway and give them to you guys because I know people struggle to find them. So if I find some more, I will buy them and give them away to you guys to, in today's video. So stay tuned for that, fingers crossed, we get lucky. So yeah, sit back, relax if you haven't already, pop your feet up, light the candles, get yourself a nice cozy drink and some snack. Let's just have a little adventure over the next couple of hours together. Out at the shops in particular, B&M Bargains. Is it B&M Bargains or just B&M? B&M Home Bargains? Or am I getting confused with Home Bargains? B&M Bargains, let's just go, let's go. This is my little outfit of the day as well. I've got my H&M um, like cardigan on. I honestly live in this. Look how long the sleeves are, it's so cozy. And then I've got my leggings on. These ones are from Abercrombie and & Fitch and they are such a lovely fit, they're so soft. They're definitely, I feel more of a lounge legging. Excuse the fact that this mirrored door we still have. That's because we ordered the other wardrobe, if you remember, for that space, which it doesn't fit. So we were gonna build it downstairs for storage, but yet to build it, so anyway, that needs to go downstairs. But yeah, Abercrombie and Fitch leggings and then little socks. Might throw on some Uggs because comfort is key when you're shopping. You've got to be comfy or else you want to get out of there. And I don't want to get out of there anytime soon. I don't like to be rushed. Stop. Can't believe I live in your thoughts. Think about you all the time. Morning, evening and midnight. Such a wonderful day. sun's out let windows open uh, coat off definitely didn't need that today i'm gonna go home via there's a mcdonald's that i'm gonna get a milkshake i think it's the hot weather i'd have got like an iced coffee from somewhere but there's nowhere near here with a drive through i could go into didsbury actually maybe we'll see either way a nice refreshing drink is on order then back home to a very successful haul i'm so happy with everything that i got there was one thing that was keeping my eyes peeled for which i didn't see so next time we'll keep my eye out for that it's like a little stone vase hi can i check you on a hi can i just get a, a large vanilla milkshake please anything else for you that's it thank you do i have any cut them please in fact, I'm really sorry. Can I change it for the frappe that you do? The caramel one? Yeah. Large? Yes, please. Yes, yeah, Thank you. 
I just saw it advertised then and thought, ooh, fancy that instead. Has anyone tried the chicken Big Mac yet? Yet to try it. Verdict. Mmm. I don't think I've ever had one of these before. They're so good. Full of sugar. <laughs> Yum. Well, that angle's not gonna work, is it? <laughs> Ugh, okay. <laughs> this is a very dramatic. Ugh. Okay, let me start with, I'm back by the way. Back home actually a bit later than I thought I would be because it actually went via a couple of charity shops and it's been a while since I've done any kind of charity shopping, secondhand shopping. So I'm gonna save that for a separate video. So stay tuned for that if you are interested in the kind of secondhand thrifting element to my channel because I know it's been a while. Start with just sharing with you the fact that I've got these labels. Managed to pick some up. This is my pack, which I'm yet to open. I have got this jar to go with it. This one was five pounds. I was on the hunt for the smaller version of this sort of shape today. I couldn't see it, but they do do a smaller one for three pounds. But anyway, this is five pounds. I'm gonna pop granola in this one. I've actually got some granola to pop in, but you could do like homemade granola. I love the font of these. These are two pounds for a pack of 16. There's two sides worth of stickers in there. So I know, like I said, I posted it on TikTok and Instagram and quite a few people are struggling to get their hands on this one in particular from B&M. So I got five extra packs for you guys to, for those of you who want to get a pack, I am going to send them out to five different people. So I know it's like a giveaway it's a two pound item but i just kind of wanted to be able to give to people who are struggling to find them so i'm just going to keep it simple with you being a subscriber to this channel and then i'm going to do the giveaway sort of through my instagram homework account freya farrington at home so if you follow me on there and then in the comments down below put your instagram handle just so i can double check and cross reference and then obviously reach out to you on Instagram when I choose the five different winners so that I can get your addresses to post these out to. Bonus entry if anyone wants to follow me on TikTok as well, seeing as though this is where I kind of, what's well, my most popular video that I've created, was my little B&M video with these labels. So if you follow me on TikTok as well, bonus little entry and thank you so much for your support if you do. I'll be back in touch in a, probably a week's time or so for, no, in fact, I'm gonna do it less than a week because I feel like you'll probably want them soon. Let's say on Wednesday, I'll pick a winner. So in a couple of days time, a few days time. I'm gonna move on to the other items that I picked up now. I got these for Tom. He loves the Galaxy Enchanted Eggs. And I said, if ever I see a Galaxy Enchanted Eggs Easter egg this year, I'm gonna be picking up for you. So I think this was just like two pound or two pound 50. And then they do the individual bags at a pound each. Of course, couldn't leave myself out from getting a treat. So I got this because I've never seen it before. And it's got the Cadbury caramel milk, which is kind of like caramac if you've had it, like a caramel chocolate. But it's also, it's called Hokey Pokey. It's also got honeycomb pieces. This is me all over. I got this for our spare bathroom. I'm just gonna check that it definitely fits. Although I could even put this in my bathroom as well. It's eight pounds and it's a double roll holder and shelf. Also picked up this tray, this bathroom tray at four pounds. Very much a white company dupe this one, which I'm thinking about doing white comedy tubes video very soon so stay tuned for that i picked up the latest flash product which i've seen mrs hintrave about so of course i've got to try it out myself i like the ease of this it's spray wipe done it's called it's nanti back spray for your bathroom in white blossom this is and it's just simply no kind of water suds or anything just spray i was going to spray them but luckily Luckily I didn't because the cap was open. Spray, wipe, done. No kind of faffing with water or soaping things up, especially for like more of a quick clean, you know? Then I picked up this metal lantern at six pounds. Great to have just a little kind of pillar candle in there. It's got the uh, hole at the top to let it 
hair if you're wanting to actually light it. I definitely thought more of a decorative piece. This would look lovely styled up. Six pounds that one. As was this one, six pounds as well. Yep, if I remember right. I've seen this in there for a while. I suppose it's not that new, but they've got this botanist range. Loads of kind of black, wicker, green, dark forest green things that um, are in the kind of home decor section even the sort of outdoor garden section as well they've got quite a lot but yeah six pounds for this little seagrass basket i thought would look lovely as a little fruit bowl or in a bedroom with some products in evening essentials it could be a little key coin purse thing throw in the basket as you walk into the house type tray or i love this kind of seagrass in a bathroom as well with some rolled up flannels so many uses for this next up is something from their new in scandy shawl range this was five pounds and it's a double candle holder this is another tray that i picked up again new in at five pounds from the homestead range i love this homestead range they've got quite a few bits in the bathroom section with this kind of stone material at two pounds from the urbanist bamboo eco-friendly range i got this brush scrubber thing it is kind of intended to be used in a kitchen which i do like the idea of but i actually picked this up because tom mentioned yesterday he needed a brush for all of his boots and stuff by the front door i might get a second one for the kitchen i'm going to have a good kitchen organized soon and sort through all my cleaning cloths cleaning products under sink cupboards because i have two and um, just really filter through everything because I've got some lovely brushes like this and stuff that never get used. My point being, I'm going to be doing that in a vlog very, very soon. Maybe my first of the month of April, like a Hello April reset type vlog that I thought would include some nice organization. So hopefully you guys are gonna enjoy that. I know I am actually looking forward to doing it, I'm not gonna lie. Anyway. I've got this set of two makeup remover cloths. Now, if these work, I just, I'm doubtful, I'm not gonna lie. $1.99 for the set of two, that's the size of them. So obviously just reusable, just throw them in the wash. If this works, I'm gonna get a set of like at least seven. So I've got one for every day of the week and then bung them in the wash on a Sunday. So maybe eight of them. Considering their impacts of two, eight would be ideal. Let me know if you've tried these before. Apparently just water is all you need to remove your makeup. I'm somewhat doubtful of that. Sorry if the angle's changed. Just had to do a quick battery switch out. Okay, moving on. I've got a couple of dog... Oh, that didn't sound good. I've got a couple of dog products for Barney and his little station, which again is another section that I want to tackle. Have a good organise and sort through of everything. And storage is key, I feel, when it comes to a well-organized looking area. So I got this treat tin. I do have another one for him that I love, but um, when I saw this, I just couldn't resist because his treats are pretty big. You can't fit many in there. So six pounds, it's just like, oh my God, am I all right? Am I okay? It's just a tin on the front, it says dog bribes. And then at five pounds, I also picked up this from the Huntley's range, which might I add, I love the Huntley's range. We saw a stand at Crufts, if you saw our Crufts vlog. I saw a stand called Huntley's and it looked very similar to this. So I wonder if it is the same or if this is B&M owned. But anyway, regardless, they have some amazing kind of collars and leads and little jackets and beds all in like really nice tartan but anyway i picked up this ceramic bowl with little bones on five pounds i do have one ceramic bowl that i leave out for his water but i might actually switch it out put that one as his water and use the other one as his food because it's the one from dan elm that says bone appetit on so i feel like that's better suited to food that one anyway i also got this wow there's a real color theme going on in front of me i got this vase this is one of the new in items that i was keeping my eyes peeled for managed to get my hands on there were only a couple left six pounds very h&m inspired i got these non-slip trays whether or not i use them as cutlery trays probably not because i do have a cutlery tray organizer already but even just in other drawers that we've got in the kitchen, the fact that it's got the non-slip grip mat thing, mat thing, it would even be nice in drawers with toiletries actually. $3.99 this one was. When I was picking up the Enchanted Eggs, I also saw that they have these new ones from Galaxy, Creamy Truffle Mini Eggs. I have to have one of these now because I feel like this 
anything creamy and truffly. Not creamy like caramel creamy, but like praline, truffly. That's why I like Gillian chocolates. Mm. I feel like these are gonna be like that. Oh my God, I need to get more of these. So yum. Can you see that? Oh my God. These are way better than the Enchanted Eggs. The last thing I got is actually a repurchase. I bought this before and it cracked, completely smashed. So I had to bin it. And it actually smashed on like as soon as I'd bought it, soon after I bought it. So I couldn't even get any use out of it. But anyway, yeah, it's this Hurricane at four pounds. I thought that's so affordable. It comes with the pillar candle as well. So yeah. It's just a nice little hurricane. I like the size of it. I like this sort of shape to it. And at four pounds, plain and simple white glass. Again, very white company inspired. This is a bit of me. Anyway, that is everything that I did pick up from B&M. Let me know if you spotted anything else that I vlogged in store that you thought I should have picked up or that you liked the look of. Don't forget if you want to get your hands on a pack of those labels, be sure to subscribe. Follow me on my homeware Instagram account and my TikTok and just pop in the comments below your Instagram handle so I can reach out to you if you're one of the five chosen winners. Thank you to you guys for supporting me if you have subscribed. It does really mean the world. And yeah, I feel like I'm gonna put my hair up, take my makeup off, start cooking early tonight. I'm going to do a HelloFresh duck meal for myself and Tom and I'm very much looking forward to it. Thanks again for watching and I hope to see you all again next time. Bye guys!